if you know a thing or two about graphics programming, you would know that it is a nightmare on that side of the spectrum, um, which is why in this video, I'm happy to announce that I'll be putting my um, graphics window um, on GitHub for you guys to publicly view and to basically take it as an educational content for you guys to basically see what it really takes to create your own custom window, um, just like GLFW does it, um, but you just do it with less features and stuff and then you can actually just extend upon it. So here's how it looks like. Um, you have a quad rendered here in the middle. Um, you can basically resize and um move it around and everything just what a typical window is supposed to be actually doing anyway um the only thing you don't have is those um options here uh however it's very easily to add it's very easy to add those um maybe i might extend it and update it as time goes but i don't know we'll just see how interested i really am in maintaining this project um but nonetheless it works it renders uh whatever you want it to render in this case we render it quite so let's get into the code and see what really happens behind the scenes for this to all work. So I'm using C. Um, so as you guys can see that it's fairly simple. Um, the API is fairly simple. It's very similar to GLFW. You create your window instance, um, and then basically you just fill in the details for it, right? And then from there, you have your while loop here. And, and then from there, you're just basically querying and seeing if the window should close or not. And if it shouldn't close, then you do all your, your draw, your render calls inside here. And then basically, you also pull for the Windows events from the operating system and then handle those gracefully. Um, so yeah, and once you kick it out to this loop, you essentially just destroy your window um, since this is a pointer. So you have to clear up that memory as well. So essentially, this is how it looks like on the front end. Um, it's fairly easy easy to use um, as you guys can basically tell um, I don't even have to say much about that so how is the render itself structured now the renderer is not even tied to the window itself it's purely separate from the platform layer um, so you can maybe just think of it as a plugin or whatever um, and it's coded in objective C right um, and the way that I coded this it's just I just try to do everything in one file for educational purposes. Now, obviously, when you're basically building a big renderer and everything, you should essentially just put your files in separate files and stuff. But since this is just educational, um, I just put everything in one file and everything in, in you know, I'm just breaking some programming rules here and just doing most of the stuff in one function. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really matter in this case because all you have to really take out of this essentially is just how did I do this and how you guys can do it and extend it on your own um, and not solely rely on the way that I did it this is just sort of like I guess not a guideline but just sort of as like an example of how you can go about it um, when you're basically mixing C and Objective-C together so um, yeah so the renderer is coded in Objective-C and um, here's the file for that um, and then here's your vertex data and then you create your vertex buffer and then you pull it push your vertex data to it and give it the size and then if you go down here, you just tell the metal renderer that, hey, take this vertex buffer and then draw it using the primitive triangle type. And then vertices in that basically are just six because we're trying to draw a quad. Um, however, if I were to change this or if I were to comment this out and then let's see, uh, do I sure should I change that? Actually, let me not change it. Let's just close the instance and then try and rerun this again. And then hopefully you should just render a triangle. And there we go. So um, yeah, that's that's simply just how this system works. Um, you guys can just read through the code um, and then implement it in your own game engines as well um, and just extend upon it and make it actually look a little bit more production ready for whatever projects you guys are actually working on. So um, yeah, this project is not complete. Um, it's just for me to just show you guys how to do this and how you can go about creating your own window um, in C on a Mac. It's not really that hard or that difficult. Um, if you look at the platform window code here also, it's literally not even that much lines of code. It's like less than 100 lines of code and you'll have your window. And the actual meat of that is literally in this function here that says create window, right? And then you just pulling for the events and that's really not even a lot of lines of code. And for the interfaces and stuff, um, you really you really don't even have that much, you know what I'm saying? Like there's really, really not much going on here. So yeah, 
that's essentially how I developed this and you guys now have the code for it um, it's using make um, to basically build everything so let me just crash or close my system and clear my terminal to show you guys how to basically use this um, so essentially we have the make file itself and within the make file itself we have our compiler flags and glue flags and everything that we're using to essentially have this running um, I do have some optimization codes if you're building for release or if no optimization at all if you're building for debug so um you can just look at how i did all of that stuff um however you could bump this to three if you wanted to um just know that the higher the number the longer the compilation time um but yeah it's basically up to you how you want to optimize this as well and then also what i also want to note is when you're compiling your shaders and you have two instances of xcode installed and what i mean by two instances is i mean like if you have the original xcode um, installed on your system and then you also have the beta version installed as well at the same time um, you might want to run this code this piece of line i commented it out here because you're supposed to run this in your terminal um like so and then once you run this you type in your password and everything so i'm just going to kick out of this and then you just click ok after that and then what it's going to do is it's going to tell um your system how to compile these shaders or which version of xcode to essentially compile these shaders with right so you just point it to that xcode that you want to use and it'll use this xcode to essentially compile the shaders and then from there you'll code should basically run and your application should also run so if i were to just clear up this system my like terminal right here and then i just delete my object file here and my bin file uh, because i just want to do a clean build um, i'm not sure if i actually added <laughs> a clean um a clean function here did i no i didn't so you just have to delete that manually um and then i just come here and i just say shh shh <laughs> build that debug like this um it'll then sort of like com compile everything um the compilation is slow um and i think it has to do with the metal uh, with the object of c files because c files typically just compile pretty fast um but yeah just just keep that in mind but then once you've basically compiled it once and you do this again so i'm just gonna clear the console again real quick and then just run that same command again you'll see it's very fast right so the first compilation does take some time but it's not really that long and, and then you have your window so that's it for this video and if you guys would like more content like this do definitely hit that like and subscribe button because it will definitely help my channel grow and it will help me basically reach more people who might find these type of information and this type of resources very helpful um in building their own side projects especially particularly in the graphics um programming section paradigm or whatever you want to call it so yeah Happy coding, and I'll see you guys in the next one.